guest, uh, Mark Hollis, has been known to stop by the show uh, from time to time. He's got an open invitation anytime he wants. He has uh, seized the opportunity today. Mark, good to see you, sir. Good morning. It's good to be here. It was uh, sunny this morning and then a little fog. It looks like it's going to roll out of here now and be a great day for uh, Spartan football. Well, that's what we're hearing. And uh, before we get to your very, very special guest, congratulations on the extension. Uh, yourself, Coach Antonio, Coach Izzo, Coach uh, uh, Conley. Uh, there's a lot of cohesion here in East Lansing athletically, Mark, and then by golly, that's the way it should be. It really is, and I think, you know, as you look at the year 2016, it seems like a long ways away, but it really isn't. But I give great credit to uh, President Simon and our Board of Trustees for gathering together and looking at those three positions and understanding uh, what cont continuity means not only to the uh, to the young, young men that they coach, but also to the alumni and, and the entire university. I think as you look at the three of us, what we strive to do is really reach out and be part of this university campus, be part of this community. And I think we've reached out to the state, state very well, and we're continuing to do so. And it all started with uh, jumping onto the great voice of the Great Lakes, and we've been rolling ever since. And we have appreciated that, Mark. You know how we feel about that. Now, as the folks are walking by our broadcast site, we're doing a double, uh, double take to the stage here because the young man sitting to your right, uh, very familiar to college football fans everywhere, for all the right reasons. Uh, a lot of success as a coach. Uh, spent some time, of course, here in East Lansing. Coach Ty William. Coach, how are you doing? Steve, I'm, I'm doing very well, but I, I'm excited by the fact that you said young man. <laughs> that, uh, that carries volumes right there. You're wearing the green very well today, sir. Well, well thank you. It's, it's, this has been, a, first of all, thank Mark for allowing me to get back, but it's been a wonderful opportunity for me because it's been a uh, Oh gosh, I, I almost get to say all oh, 30 years since I've been back in a non-competitive capacity. And it's good to get back and see the changes and see the continuity that he's establishing and the board and the president are all putting things in the right place. And that's wonderful for me. Well, I know college football fans, Coach, uh, realize uh, your work uh, that you have done. You have been in some hot spots, if you will, of college football. Of course, your stay in South Bend with Notre Dame and then yet you go to another one on the West Coast with the University of Washington. And you have handled, sir, and let me be the first to say, every situation, good, bad, or indifferent, with class and dignity. Well, well thank you. I've been uh, blessed. Uh, my Michigan State background, okay, kind of uh, geared me up for you know, difficulties that might be faced in life. And I was blessed with great parents and great support. So I've been really blessed. You know, more times than not, when faced with adversity, it's amazing, Coach, how often you, you look back and uh, you dig down and find the character that was uh, put inside a long time ago by individuals like your parents or former coaches or whomever affected your life along the way. Well, I, I, I'm one of the, I consider myself one of the most lucky men around because I've had so many people involved in my life. I had the opportunity this morning uh, to visit with Clarence Sumbler, okay, who was uh, pivotal in my time here, uh, Dave Porteous, people that you know, friends that, that have been so supportive at, at all the stages of my life, and I can just continue to go back from the time I was born to the day with uh, cute people that have made a difference. Now, what does the future have for Coach Ty Williams? Well, I, right now, I am working very diligently and not working. <laughs> Well, so far you seem to be doing a pretty darn good job of it, Coach. I, 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 you know, I, I, they say I go after everything with 100%, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, I, I have no uh, real idea what the future holds, and it's going to be interesting to, to see what happens in the next uh, about four months, because, as you know, in, in college football, the cycle starts to change. Oh, you gotcha. And just a little bit, and it's unfortunate, but uh, it, it does take place, and we'll see what happens there. So you still have the desire to coach on the sidelines? Well, you know, I say it this way, I have a passion for life, and that passion for life entitles me to be able to have a passion for any and everything that I do, okay? I was funny, I was playing golf yesterday and with uh, Joe Ferguson and his group, and they all commented that I don't have any wasted energy in my swing. <laughs> so you go after the 100% and that makes life really enjoyable. What was uh, most shocking to me, Coach, uh, talking to you is normally, uh, especially these days, uh, once you get out of the coaching range for a while, you go right to the broadcast booth. So is that opportunity not yet? I think you could be a wonderful broadcast. Well, well, thank you. Of course, not I'll, this one. I'll leave that to the more talented individuals than myself. Uh, but no, I, I don't foresee a, a future in that, nor do I desire one in that. I, I told someone jokingly 
that uh, this is the first opportunity, first fall that I've probably been not actively involved in football since I was 12. And I'm taking this opportunity to find out what my wife's favorite color is. <laughs> so after 30 years, that's a heck of a statement. Well, you know what? Then enjoy this time. Well, I, I, I really am. Enjoy it. Just sit down and smell the roses, as they say, Coach. And an opportunity is going to knock again, but until it does, get to know your wife again. That's pretty Absolutely. important. Absolutely. Yes, it is. <laughs> I need a place to hang my clothes. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping by, Coach. It's been a real pleasure and honor meeting you today. Uh, Mark, you could be a broadcaster as well, I think. Well, I'm happy with what I'm doing right after now. So I'm locked in through 2016. Uh, I was going to say, after 2016, maybe the opportunity to present itself. What else is going on? Uh, uh, always something going on athletically here uh, at Michigan State. Before too long, of course, Coach Izzo is going to be firing up the basketball program. We got that going. I think, you know, right now we have four undefeated teams that are competing here in the fall, and I think our soccer programs are up to an excellent start. Volleyball is doing very, very well. Uh, today we have a solid sold-out uh, venue with uh, 75,000 plus for this game. It's going to be, uh, I think, kind of, you know, this isn't part of the Celebrate the State Series, but I think it's going to be a, a good launch to uh, to what's in our future with uh, the three MAC schools and how we're going to be doing some unique scheduling uh, scheduling opportunities there. But campus is alive. It's a beautiful day today. I'm ready to go out and uh, get a win and uh, see if we can move forward. Well, we were talking about the uh, Celebrate the State Series uh, a little bit er earlier with David Hickey, the athletic director at Central Michigan. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, his eyes lit up when he said three years from now they'll be hosting your Spartans, uh, you know, in Mount Pleasant there. And, uh, that is very, very exciting because, uh, you know, there in Kalamazoo and uh, Ypsilanti and uh, everything. Uh, I'm guessing the hotel is probably went up that weekend. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of rates are going to be going up. But, you know, we, honestly, uh, when you talk about uh, the economic impact in every city that you go to, it's going to be phenomenal. It's no question. And I think, you know, as you look at, at, at our state right now, and you assume it's going to get better, but at the same time, regardless, what we're doing on a, on a, on a season basis is, is very much an up, upward and boost economically for the for the state. You're going to have seven home games here at Spartan Stadium and go up and play one in Mount Pleasant. I think one year we had a game on the road in Michigan, so we'll have eight eight home games, or the eight games played right. in the state right. of Michigan in one season. And that's, you know, economically, that's a huge, huge return for the state to have those dollars funneling into those communities uh, on a lot of, basis. A lot of foam fingers. There's no a question. A lot of foam not. fingers. You got it. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Uh, that's you a special guest anytime. You know that, sir. Well, he's the best. I think, you know, as you look at people and you look at your own children, you think who, uh, who do you want to trust your, your, your kids with? Ty represents Michigan State in such a phenomenal way. And you, you spoke to that a little bit there, but um, when he walks in, it's uh, I guarantee you he has my respect 100%. And, uh, we really love here at Michigan State. All right, thank you very much. Mark Howlett, athletic director here at Michigan State, and of course the great coach Ty Willingham joining us as well on the tailgate show.